Hey ladies, so I am doing a quick intro video for the September and October Gwinnie Bee because it is like three days until the end of October and I still haven't even gotten the September one up. And I'm doing this video entry while I'm driving because that seems to be the only time that I can actually do it. So apologies that I'm not even looking at you right now, but it's probably best that I don't while I'm on the road. Um, but I wanted to do just a quick intro like I normally do just to kind of give you an overview as to the last couple of months. I'm going to kind of cheat and just use the same intro for both videos because of timing. This, uh, the weather lately around here has been really, really whack. Uh, we've had some really cold days followed by some really hot days. In fact, we are right in the middle of a mini heat wave and it's been upper 80s this week and then it's supposed to level out into something that's at least a little bit more normal for October in our area. So all of that is to basically let you know that the next, uh, the September and October Gwinnie B rotation was a little weird because there were some things that I got that were just too heavy to wear and I had to wait until it was cool and then and then there were some things that I got that were definitely more summer-like and I had to wait until it warmed up. So anyway, it was a weird couple of months, but there were still some hits and misses as per usual. So I hope you enjoy and definitely give me some feedback down below, especially if you've tried any of these items and let me know what you thought about them. So I hope you enjoy. Sorry that I'm kind of talking to the stoplight instead of to you guys but uh, I hope you will understand because my life is about to get even crazier for some reason I think I'm about to sign on to do an internship next year on top of working full-time and going to grad school so wish me luck. The Mystic Garden Top by Alfani in a size 2x. So this blouse is kind of interesting and I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to wear it. I do want to go ahead and give it a try with wearing it to the office at least once. I kind of like the summer into fall kind of romance with the colors and the sheer sleeves and just kind of the flow of it. But there are some other aspects to it that are a little bit challenging and I'm not quite sure how I want to address that. It is a sheer blouse but it does come with a camisole that's kind of a beige color and what I like about that is that um, they have actually pinned the shoulders to the, the the straps of the camisole to the shoulders of the blouse just to make it easier to get into and the reason why they need to do that is because the camisole is actually attached on the bottom it's sewn as part of the blouse so having it sewn up here obviously helps you maneuver the straps and get into it so that you're not a big tangled mess. But because of the fact that it is sewn at the bottom, you don't really have a whole lot of options in terms of addressing wearing of the camisole itself. And what I mean by that is the camisole itself is kind of short. So if I want to pull it up this way so that my bra isn't showing as much through the blouse, then it actually pulls up the whole hem of the blouse. And I actually like my blouses to kind of cover this area, so I want to keep pulling it down. And when I pull it down, it obviously pulls everything down, which means that my bra is very visible through the, the sheerness of the top. So. Right now I'm wearing a black bra, and or uh, a bra with black in it. It's very apparent through the blouse that it is a bra strap and not part of the blouse. So obviously when I go to wear it, I'm going to have to play with my beige and my white bras to see if one or the other is better. And so I don't really like that. I kind of wish... Well, I, I do appreciate the fact that the camisole is included. I kind of wish maybe it was either a separate piece 
which I understand would be hard to navigate in terms of keeping them together for shipments or that it wasn't there at all and I could just use my own camisole like I would use a cream colored cam camisole under this or maybe even like an orange one just for the extra pop of color so there's no zip it is a pull over and again it is a pretty sheer fabric you can kind of see even with the camisole underneath you can kind of see some bleeding of color with my jeans and stuff through it but I mean it's a pretty pretty blouse and I do want to try to see if I can configure something to wear it at least once because I have a burgundy colored skirt that I think this would be really cute with for work so I like it I just don't think it's fully successful and that's kind of a bummer because what I like about it, I really like about it. But what I don't like about it, I really don't like about it. So, so it goes. Pop of blue keyhole dress by Sangria in a size 20W. I was a little bit worried about this dress when I saw that it was on the way, given the reviews that I've seen already on it. There were a lot of people who were expressing that they had some fitting issues, so I was a little concerned. And thankfully, when it arrived, I do not seem to be having the fitting issues that others had, so I was really happy about that. And I actually really like this dress quite a bit. Um, I like the really bold graphic print. There's something almost Union Jack about it in the black and white. Um, there's something about it that kind of makes me think of that, and that might be partially because of the shade of blue that they use as the pop of color. But I actually really like this really graphic design. I find it's pretty comfortable. It is a three-quarter sleeve, and I'm not feeling any kind of tightness as I stretch around. It is a pullover. There is no zipper. There is a little placket here of fabric, so you do want to fiddle with that and make sure that that is flipped in properly, as I discovered when I wore this to work. I had a little bit of that sticking out that had to be adjusted, but other than that, not so bad. There is another like um, border of blue, kind of almost like a dropped waist idea. And while I like the pop of blue and that general concept, I don't know if I necessarily like it with this dress. And I think the thing that's throwing me off is that we have this down here, but we also have the the band in the graphic fabric so it's almost like there's two waistlines going on and so I kind of feel as though that this blue might have been better served maybe down at the bottom or maybe a little bit lower it kind of hits me in a weird spot so that was kind of my only real complaint with this but it's enough of one that I'm like mm, this dress kind of annoys me a little bit and uh Given the price, it's around $50 right now. It's not something that I'm interested in keeping because that annoys me enough that I don't want to pay that kind of money for it. But I really like the dress in general. I like the little peekaboo here. That's kind of cute and sexy, but not obnoxious or in your face and not inappropriate. So I wore this to work the last week and got a lot of compliments on it, felt very confident in it, felt very uh, like it moved really easily. You do want to be aware that the fabric is a little bit on the thin side, so even though you've got the pattern going on here, uh, you might want to stick with like a solid white underwear or something with a very light pattern just in case, because you don't want to be giving anybody a view that you weren't intending. So it's not a lined dress. If that's a concern for you, definitely think about wearing a slip or something underneath it, just in case. But in general, I like it. The Bryn Dress in Black by B Curvy by Bobo in size 2X. So the reviews online for this dress, a lot of people kind of equate it to a nightgown and I can definitely see where they're coming from on this. There's something about the, the fabric of this dress as well as the styling with the neckline and the pleating that definitely kind of calls to that whole nightgown experience. But that having been said, I don't mind it all that much. By itself, it's probably a little too much, but I can see potentially wearing this with a bright legging and maybe some boots and kind of 
bringing it back to a day look that way. And so what I will probably do is something like that for work once the weather cools down a little bit and give it another week or so and I should be able to have a day or two during the week where that might be possible. Uh, there are pockets, but they're in kind of a weird spot for me. They're up a little high. Um, I would normally expect pockets to be kind of in this area and they're not, they're up high here. So while pockets in and of themselves are a cool idea, I don't see this as being a functional pocket for me because of where it's located. And because of that, this is a little annoying because number one, it adds a little bit of extra fabric here, but it also kind of, you know, your hands kind of get caught in that because the opening's there and I keep thinking, oh my God, I ripped the dress. I didn't, it's a pocket. So eh. um, it is a pullover which is to be expected because of the way that it's so loose and flowy. It is lined, which is nice. So, you know, that does help with the sheerness of the fabric, but it is very definitely kind of that nightgown-esque thing. The sleeves are kind of that button roll placket kind of idea. So if you wanted to, you could certainly take it down to a, you know, a full sleeve. But I think that just kind of adds to the nightgown feel to it. I kind of appreciate the concept of where they were going with this dress. I definitely do feel it leans a little bit too much into sleep, sleepy time land. But if you are looking for a, an easy black dress that's very loose and flowy and comfortable, this could be an option for you. Just know that you might have to play with it a little bit to turn it into something that you would actually want to wear out, you know, to work or, or whatever. So I'll fuss with that later. But anyway, it'll be okay for a one-time wearing, but that's all I'm interested in. The Sleeveless Dress in Hot Pink by Skies Are Blue in size 3X. All right. They weren't kidding when they said this was going to be a hot pink Sometimes you don't really know when they describe a garment online. Uh, I've had other hot pink things that when they arrived ended up being a little bit more salmon colored or lighter pink, but this is definitely a bright neon highlighter pink color. It is definitely in your face. There is no subtlety with this one. Um, it is lined, but it's very, very thin, so it definitely clings. And I'm experiencing a little bit of tight across the chest. It's not too extreme, but I can definitely feel it. And I think that's just the nature of the fabric itself. It's not very forgiving. And because of the way that it clings, if I were to wear this, I would need probably some shapewear under it. So I don't know how that's going to do with the mobility of this. And it's slightly sheer. So I would be afraid to wear any kind of dark underwear under this just in case. In certain light, I can see that that might end up coming through. So definitely if you're trying this one, test it out and make sure before you leave the house that you're not, you know, showing things that you didn't intend to show. And the armholes are pretty deep and you can kind of see here it's showing my bra here. And as it's shifting around, that changes a little bit. But for me, if I were to wear this in a work environment, I would definitely need to wear a cardigan or something over it just to make sure. And also because it's really thin, I would probably want to do that in an air conditioned environment. Anyway, it is a pullover. There's no zipper or buttons. However, on the side, there is a, like a lace detail to help kind of cinch in the side. And uh, you can kind of see it's sewn in, so it's not something that's adjustable. It's just kind of a, you know, kind of a, a, an additional feature to it. Uh, to be honest, I don't really care for this too much. And it might be just because of the way my body is shaped with it being kind of a apple hourglass. Um, lately, it's a little bit more apple. I need to <laughs> take care of that a little bit. But anyway... Um, this kind of makes it seem, I don't know, I feel a little trussed up like a sausage to kind of go with the food analogy. 
so I'm not really sure about this one to be honest with you guys I it's not as cute as I was hoping it was going to be for kind of an end of summer dress I might be able to make it work for once in the office but I will definitely need to tone it down with like a black cardigan or something over it because this is this in and of itself is just so in your face bright that I don't know if I want to call that kind of attention to myself in the office especially since I'm not feeling all that in this dress so if I was feeling snazzy in the dress then I would definitely be fine with the attention but since I'm not I don't know if I want that kind of attention so I don't know I'm gonna have to play with this one a little bit and see if I can maybe make it work for once but I'm not really all that excited about this one so if you're not shaped like I am if you have more of a column shape or more of an hourglass shape definitely think about giving this one a try because it might be more flattering on your figure than it is on mine and I do think it's in general a cute dress I just don't feel cute in it so the Mallory top in parakeet green by Isabel and Alice in a size 1x okay so I'm actually filming this in the hallway as opposed to my bedroom this time around so the lighting might be a little funky and you may see cats running back and forth here so um, ignore the lower portion this was tights and boots that I wore under a dress for work today and I decided to do some filming when I got home so ignore the lower portion of this this is not actually how I wore this top I wore this top with a pair of cropped jeans to a weekend um, fall event and it was a nice kind of transitional at least for my area seasonal piece it's definitely kind of more of a summery top but it was comfortable for our october weekend here in the early october so wasn't so bad as you can see it is a kind of a peplum style it is a thinner fabric so it's definitely designed for more of a warmer weather climate. The front of it kind of dips down a little bit low and is a little bit loose, at least on me. So I did find that I had to tug a lot, especially between, you know, sitting and standing, things would kind of rise up a little bit. And then when I stood up, I had to actually tug it back into place. And the armholes are pretty deep. Uh, these are, of course, the hanger strings, which I don't cut off of garments that don't belong to me. So the color of it was a little bit of a surprise to me. It came across a little bit more bright in person than I was expecting it to be. It's, for me at least, it's definitely more of an apple green where I thought it was going to be like a lime green. And I realized that there are probably a lot of people who are thinking, what's the difference? To my eye... And obviously your mileage may vary, but to my eye, an apple green color tends to have a little bit more of a yellow undertone, whereas a lime green color is a little bit more cool toned, has a little bit more of like the blue gray undertone to it. So when I saw it on the website, I thought it was a bit of a lime green color. And to me, this is definitely more of an apple green. It's got a yellow, bright yellow undertone, which I don't mind. It just, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, there is no back zip to it, so it's just a pullover style, but there is a tie, as you can see. Uh, the tie is attached, so it's just a matter of bringing it around and kind of styling that. Um, there's not a lot of forgiveness in this waist, which is interesting because the upper portion of it's really loose, and of course the lower por portion of it, being a peplum, is also really loose but the middle is very snug, so it was riding up and down, and so I kinda had to do this a lot. So bear that in mind if you carry your weight in the middle. It's a cute top. It was all right for what it was. Uh, definitely not something that I could wear to work, really. Uh, not the appropriate kind of style, and because of the way that this is cut, I, I think it might look a little weird with like a cardigan over it. Um, I, I see this as being more of a standalone type of shirt or blouse 
and this kind of style wouldn't really be a, appropriate for my work environment so but it was all right for a casual weekend it is what it is scarf print top and aqua by jm collection in a size 2x so this one had a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction upon wearing it and so I'm mentioning this in case you decide to give this one a try just be wary uh, so there is a chain decorative chain piece um, a hook and eye type of um, or the circle and bar I don't know what it's technically called but it's um, that type of closure and it's just a little gold chain chain piece that goes here across it doesn't actually necessarily serve a function other than decorative but it is something that you can loosen up if you want pretty loose and free flowing for me it's not like super super flowy but it's definitely very comfortable i have plenty of room uh, and then when i went to remove it at the end of the day at the end of the work day i went like this and the chain on one side just completely like broke apart and a piece of it I think fell under my bed I still haven't found it yet so the clasp definitely did not hold up and I don't know if that's a reflection of the garment itself if that was just a one-off thing or maybe through multiple washings it doesn't hold up well I don't really know but just if you're considering this one definitely buyer beware it's kind of a shame because this was really, really pretty. I got some um, compliments at work for it, uh, especially moving into the fall season. It was very comfortable and easy to wear. I didn't have to worry about a jacket, but I wasn't, you know, I was cool but not cold, and it was a good combination. A lot of people at work really liked the colors. They thought it was really bright without being, like, in your face. And um, it definitely is a very easy piece to wear and I can see it going either work oriented or super casual even like going on a cruise or something like that it's got that kind of vibe and feel to it I'm not entirely thrilled with the the fact that the ruffle is sewn all the way down I think I would have preferred just kind of having a flowy sleeve but personal preference is not that big of a deal and uh, yeah, it's pretty loose, pretty comfortable, and I probably would have held on to it for another wearing or two except for this issue. So I've already notified them and let them know that I'm sending it back, but just be aware of that. If you decide to give this one a try, be careful with how you remove it because apparently the chain is a little sensitive. Front Zip Tunic in Khaki by Dex, size 2X. So I ended up wearing this one over a weekend uh, to an amusement park and tested it on roller coasters and through dolphin shows and walking around in 80 degree weather and it actually held up pretty well. It was pretty comfortable. Um, I like the fact that it, it it's very, very thin. I will say that it's a very thin blouse so it provided me good coverage but it wasn't hot. The armholes are a little deep, so be aware of that. It does, does show a little bit of flashing of the bra, which means that for me, this wouldn't be something that I would want to wear to work, but on a weekend, whatever, it's totally fine. And the zip is functional, so just know that that is a functional zipper. And it has um, a little bit of notching, not a lot, but just kind of a little bit of a scalloped edge here to give a little bit more room on the hips. And it is a pullover style. So the only zip is the one that's in front. So, I mean, it was pretty comfortable. I was surprised about how thin it was. You know, to be honest, spending money on something like this to keep in my wardrobe would make me a little nervous because even though I'm sure it's fine, the fabric feels as though it would be something that would kind of fall apart in the wash. I mean, it's that thin. Feels a little flimsy. Almost gauze-like, if you know what I mean by that. So, I don't know. I don't know that I would actually spend the money to buy a shirt like this because it would make me really nervous. But, it was great for the outing that I 
went on. And if you are in an area where you have a pretty mild transition between seasons and you're still having like warm weekends to go out and do fall stuff, you know, autumn harvest stuff, pumpkin festivals or whatever it is that you're doing, this with some jeans and some boots could be just fine for you. Maybe bring a jacket with you in case it gets cooler later in the day, but this might be ideal for you because it is comfortable, it is cool and casual, definitely fall colored, and might be a really good, might be a good weekender piece for you. So think about it.